Okay, I don't know what happened there, but I guess the fucking camera shut off. But anyway, there's a trick to this. Okay, when you use this disc or this this caliper adapter for the frame, okay, uh, you can buy these anywhere. Okay, but the trick is it's this: you have to stretch this fork. The fork has to be at 106 millimeters. Okay, you have to double nut this side. For this cone nut, this first lock nut for the cone nut, and you have to stick another secondary cone nut lock nut on this side, thin, for the front wheel. Okay. Well, then, you take this one here, and you leave it. Okay. And you're not going to add another, because this disc, or th this caliper adapter is actually the same thickness as these lock nuts for the cone nut. Okay. And what you're going to have to do is you see this front ear. Okay, this front ear, and if it's got a rear ear like this one had, okay, see, it had front and rear ears, okay, this rear ear has to be cut off, and the reason being is because when you attach this to the frame, it's going to try to bite into this ear, it's going to take this caliper adapter and it's going to shove it over well then you can't get the 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 caliper out far enough away from the disc to get it proper alignment okay another thing is these caliper adapters have two ears like this okay i don't know how clear this is in a video try to make it as clear as we can make it okay but you guys see this that i'm okay well it's got another ear that comes this way Okay, just like this front ear. Well, you have to cut this other ear away. And the reason being is because if you ever have a flat tire, you need to change the rotor, whatever the case is. Okay, then you can't pull the wheel without pulling the caliper away from the frame. Okay, now if you do it this way, you don't have to pull this caliper. It will stay right where it's put. You can pull the wheel, change the tire, change the tube, whatever you need to do. Okay, and if anybody's wondering, these are 1.95 by 26 inch tires. 10 to K 838s. Okay, and if anybody's wondering about the rear gear, it's going to be a 28 that come off the original wheel. Okay, come off this wheel, which just come out of the frame this morning. Okay, and as you guys see, there's an old stock steel wheel. Okay. Old stock steel wheel. It's been through hell and back. Okay. You can see where the rag joint was. Spokes are still nice and clean where the rag joint was. Okay. So now. You have to take your disc adapter. And then you're going to take and mount it. Right. You're going to mount your disc adapter. But you got to mount your sprocket to your disc adapter first. There's several things that this this is going to do. Okay. This is going to give the, the chain proper alignment. Okay. So if you're looking to do this. And you've got the sprocket that you've already set your motor up for. Or you're going to set a motor up for your bike. Whatever the case is. Well then you like the sprocket that you've already got. Or you don't want to purchase one. You can't afford it. Whatever the case is. You can use this disc adapter. With every sprocket on the market for the rag joint. Okay. And I'm going to prove that in this video. Okay. Now the trick is. Is if you see. You see this line. That I've marked out on this sprocket. Okay. That line. Is the circumference. Of this. Which is the same circumference. As back here. And you're probably wondering how I did that. Mount it backwards. Okay. Mount it backwards. And then take it with your, with, with your long bolts that come from your rag joint. And your nuts. And then you bolt them together. Taut. Not tight tight. Just taut. Taut enough to where it's not going to move. And you've got this centered within the sprocket. Okay. That's how this becomes centered. Okay. That way, when you bolt this down, 
you're not going to have wobble like the rag joint would have. Okay, now everybody's going to be like, but you're using a steel sprocket. How's that work? How you doing that? Just like I said in the video earlier, you can use any sprocket in the world. Okay. All the bolts line up. Okay. Put it up against this green or something. And as you can see, all the bolt holes line up. If you don't believe me, then how did I get this in perfect diameter? That's proof right there. Okay. And now, here. We'll do we'll do one one better. Okay. I got a ton of sprockets here. Okay. We got a ton of sprockets here. Okay, we got a 36. We got a 40. And we got factory 44s. Okay. Doesn't matter. They're all rag joint sprockets, right? Okay, now. I know that they tell you anywhere from, say, 26 to 32 sprocket for this adapter. Right? That's a lie. That is a bold-faced lie. If that's the case, then why can that mount to a factory 44-2 sprocket? Don't think it can be done? It's been done. Once again, all you have to do is cut out this center where I drew this line. Okay? There's your 44. Factory 44. And here's a 40. Okay, looky there, okay, all in bolt holes line up, once again, okay, now here's the 36, once again, rag joint sprocket, all the bolt holes line up. I know what you're going to say, but you, you're not using the, the hardware that the, the sprocket adapter come with. Well, they quit sending the adapter's hardware out for the sprocket that belongs to the adapter. Okay, I just got this a few days ago. There was no hardware with it. It was just the adapter for 25 bucks. Because they see what you can do and they don't know it, it can be done. That's why they don't send this hardware out no more. And for you guys that are running the, 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 the sprockets that belong to the adapters. And you need this hardware. Okay. Right? You need this hardware, right? Say for instance you, you jack it up or it gets jacked up somehow. Whether it be this side, this side, whatever the case is. You know what these are, right? These are for a... Regular chain ring on bicycles. The very front chain ring. That's what these are too. You can find these on eBay. Any given where and place you want to buy them. In any given color that you want. For BMX bicycles. That's what they belong to. That's why they don't send them out no more. Okay. That's the details in the... And how this is all set up and how this is all done. Because now if I was to roll the mongoose in here. And you'd see. It's a flat sprocket just like this 28 sitting here. Okay. And it's mounted to a disc adapter just like this. Just like this.
and it's mounted just like that on the mongoose. Okay, so that's how you do that, and you can use the factory rag joint hardware. Okay, your factory tin, you know, M6 bolt with a one millimeter thread pitch with the nuts. Now the trick is, and everybody's, if you're wondering about this as well, okay, this is just for mock-up purposes. Okay, these bolts are going to have to be chopped. Okay, but what you're going to have to do is you can't use the factory 10 millimeter little washers. You have to find or go buy bigger washers in diameter. They have to be bigger. There's a washer. Okay, now, them are not factory washers. Okay, we're going to get a factory 10 millimeter washer here that comes out of kits. Look at the difference in circumference on the outside diameter of the washers. This will not work. This is too small. Cannot use this. Because if you try to do that, it's going to pull through. And the reason you want this big thick wash, well it's not really thick, but the reason you want it big in circumference and around the head of the bolt is because it will not pull through. Okay, give me one hot second, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, look. And then that takes up the excess space of the hole. This washer does. So when you torque this down, it's not going to pull through. It's going to hold solid. And then what you do instead of using these nuts is you take and you use lock nuts. Okay, you use 10 millimeter lock nuts on that back side that belongs to the rag joint. Okay, like this. And the reason you do that is so this assembly does not come apart. Okay, you don't need washer, you don't need lock washer, you don't need nothing. All you need is a lock nut. And once again, I'm going to prove just that. I'm sit you down here. I'm going to take this off. Okay, I'm just going to take this and we're just going to take it to where it stops to lock assembly. Okay, just like that, and it won't pull through, see, it will not pull through, this is just loose still, because I didn't button it all the way down, but you get the gist of it, once it's done, it's done, and it won't come apart, that's how you put this together, hope this